What is going on YouTube? This is Gavin21202, aka Gavin Orlandi. And as you can see, I put the Hardy Boys in unbroken attires in this picture. Because according to Forbes.com, credit from TNA Wrestling.com on the picture, uh the picture on the uh New source, Matt and Jeff Hardy's potential WWE return is unlikely to be as broken characters. WWE tag team legend Matt Hardy announced his departure from TNA via Twitter Monday night after a memorable run where he reinvented himself, his brother Jeff, in pro wrestling as we know it. Hardy's stint as broken Matt Hardy was lighting in a bottle for TNA. The unique supernatural character had so many layers. TNA dedicated the entire universe to it. Rife and colorful characters from his Sorganist from Ribeye to Demon Seed's son King Maxwell. Broken Matt resonated his fans and a t-shirt sellers alike. Merchandise for the bold new character and his family ranked into the top 10 of ProWrestlingTees.com. Outselling popular independent wrestlers like Chris Hero in addition to WWE Hall of Famers such as Edge and Scott Hall. The exit of Matt and Jeff, who are 42, which is Matt's age, and 39, which is Jeff's age, years of age, respectively seem to be intimate. For weeks now, reports have been circulating about not only they were six-time WWE World Tag Team Champions, unlikely to re-sign with TNA, but a WWE return could be looming. As there are talks of the Hardy Boys re-signing, reportedly came to a halt due to a language in their new TNA deal. That will cause TNA to approve outside bookings while keeping 10% of their earnings. Unfortunately for those united in the praise of Broken Hardy brand, recent WWE history and possible legal red tape suggest that any return to the World Wild Leader would be for the regular run of the Hardy Boys. Matt and the revolutionary gimmick clearly reached WWE's radar, which was woke up as it has ever been in terms of tipping its cap to outside promotions. WWE tried and failed to recreate the dark bona fides of the final deletion with a New Day vs. the Wyatts brawl in the Wyatt compound just days later. The lackluster compound was days later. The lackluster segment was described as joey list Joyless knock knockoff by Jason Powell of ProWrestling.net. And while the Hardys fuck this goddamn phone. And while the Hardys were eluded by critics for their creative rebellion in TNA, the storyline didn't always translate to ratings. After selling a viewership record of Pop TV and TNA's final deletion, built around a literal street fight between Matt and Jeff and the Hardy compound. Viewership for the two ensuing specials dropped significantly. Even TNA's record viewership on Pop TV is influential compared to WWE's lowest viewership numbers, which bottomed out last year when an average of 2.47 million viewers up against the first presidential debate. So you guys can look at all that down below. But will we be seeing these guys return to the WWE? There is legal issues going on of whether TNA or Matt Hardy owns the broken gimmick. I feel Matt Hardy should because, quite frankly, Matt Hardy's the one that came up with the idea. And Matt Hardy, it's not TNA's property. Whether TNA bought it out from him back however long ago when he started the gimmick. If they bought it out from him then and Matt was thinking that he was never going to leave TNA, I don't know exactly what the legal reasons were. But, as we know, there might be some legal trouble going on to this. Because TNA probably doesn't want uh, Matt Hardy to take the broken gimmick anywhere else. But, ladies and gentlemen, if there's any other WWE news, rumors, headlines, and updates, I'm going to need you guys to like this video. Favorite this video. Share this on every social media platform that's only possible. Go pledge me at Patreon.com. Check my Patreon words in the link in the description below. And do one last thing, and definitely subscribe. Thanks, guys. Love y'all.